Hi YouTube, welcome back to the next episode of the Sims 4 Joy of Life Challenge. We are back with our baby Neve in today's episode. I'm very, very excited. We've got some fun stuff planned for today's uh, stream. However, you might also notice some messages right over here. These are from our friends over on Twitch, which is actually where I stream the series live. So if you guys want to go ahead and uh, join the series live, you're more than welcome to go ahead and click on the link in the description. So yes, come and join us. I would love to have you there. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's gameplay. Our baby Neve. As you know, she's definitely looking a little bit older. Um, I wanna show you guys some stuff that I've done. Um, I'm gonna take them into cast and then it'll be easier to show you guys them. Um, here is what Emiliano is looking like. As you guys can see, he is definitely looking considerably older to how he uh, looked before. You know, he's looking a little bit aged. Neve is supposed to be about 50 and Emiliano is supposed to be about 47, 48. So we definitely needed them to look a little bit older, you know, as you can see, our baby Neve, she is, she is definitely looking a bit older. But that does mean that both of them now have the eye wrinkles and the forehead wrinkles, which definitely makes sense for Sims that are like 50 years old. And also they've had no work done. Like Neve and Emiliano, they've had no plastic surgery. They've not had anything. They've had no Botox. So realistically, whatever wrinkles that are kind of natural at 50 years old is what they would have. However, we do need to definitely go ahead and update some of Neve's outfits. Um, not that when you're 50, you have to start, you know, being super conservative. However, for Neve, at the age of 50, I definitely think she wants she would want to be a little bit more modest. Um, so we're gonna swap a few of her outfits around as well. And after Neve's wedding, which is actually, I don't know if the wedding's gonna be in the next episode or if we're just gonna plan for the wedding in the next episode on Sunday. Um, but we are gonna be cutting Neve's hair as well, but we'll worry about that when she gets a little bit older. So that was the only bits that I wanted to show you guys. So for today's stream, the most important thing that is happening is the kiddo's birthday. So not only is it our girlie Charlotte's birthday, she is gonna be aging up into a teenager. It's also her twin brother's birthday as well, Reese. So we are gonna go to the bowling alley. We're gonna throw a really cute kid's birthday for them. All right, so um, we're picking up. It is currently three in the morning on Sunday. And obviously um, Neve and Emiliano just got back from their evening out. The babies are gonna need to be taken care of. Um, we have... Little baby uh, Ginny, she's gonna go eat her coronation sandwich. And we have Graham, who stinks. He definitely just needs a bath. Can we just go and get that over and done with right now? Cause he just stinks. Oh God, okay. When it comes to Neve and Graham, a sense of order seems to be abound. As the younger Sim has a deep respect for their older family member, often meeting the older Sim's high expectations. I think because Graham tried to say no to getting his nappy changed, the game thinks that we should have a strict family dynamic which I'm not gonna lie, I don't really see. I d yeah, let's just be honest, Neve's just not a very strict parent. Oh, he looks so cute though, look at him. Oh, he looks so sweet. He looks so cute here, sorry. You guys are always talking about how um, Graham looks like he has a really big head. His head looks quite small here. <laughs> right, Graham needs his dinner. Can someone, can someone feed this kid? Why is this so difficult? Come downstairs, come and eat your coronation sandwich. Right, so, Ginger, she's good. She's taking a little poop. She's fine. Okay, the audacity of Emiliano. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. It's not like these both of these kids need to go to bed and this man's just put himself to bed as if like he has no care in the world. Lol, man. <laughs> I swear to God he heard me. He actually woke up. He really did wake up and was like, oh, sorry, not doing my um, not doing my manly duties. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Okay, as soon as Ginny finally takes this big old dump that she's like working on, you put her to bed, okay? <laughs> right, the sink's dirty. There's no more coronation sandwiches left. So anybody else that hasn't eaten is gonna starve in the house. It's just, it's a disaster, guys. Right, you go to bed. Ginny, you did your poop. Now you go to bed too. Would you say that Emiliano and Ginger have a strict family dynamic? You know, I actually don't mind that as much for Emiliano because Emiliano is quite strict with the kids. Um, I think he gets that from his dad because his dad was quite strict on him and his brother. So I don't mind it as much for, for Emiliano to have a strict family dynamic with, Gin with Ginny. Right, okay, so the kids are in bed. Emiliano, you can go wee and then go sleep again since you were like begging me for like the last few hours. And then Neve can come down and take a quick shower. Okay, I'm gonna have Neve. Um, she's in her baking gear. 
So I'm gonna have her get into, I'm gonna have her get in this outfit. And then I'm gonna have her go up to Emiliano. And they're gonna do a little woohoo before bed tonight. With using protection, by the way. All right, I'm gonna have her come in here, wake Emiliano up. And then we are gonna do some woohoo. I'm gonna have her go and like, you know, go and flirt with him a little bit. Go and caress his cheek. Honestly, Reese, you are just such a, you're such a cock block. Like, can you just go back to bed, please? Like, can you just go and do something? Can you just go be somewhere else? Like, is that? <laughs> Anyways, back to it. Okay, right, physical intimacy. Go and caress his cheek. Don't you just love when the game like just doesn't play ball? Please game, just do it for me, just today. Today of all days. Oh, bed make out. Hold on, what's going on here? Just chewing the dog out. That wasn't really what I had in mind, guys. Um, hello. More of the question, why was Emiliano on top though? <laughs> Emiliano is on top, confirmed. Okay, romance, physical intimacy, go and squeeze him. I feel like we should not be watching this. Are we allowed to watch this? Oh my goodness, guys. This is kind of cute. Okay, now we, now we can do some woohooing. Wait, what's going on? Passionate romance? Butterflies are in the sky. Neve feels just as high after that sizzling moment spent with Emiliano. Her huff. Oh, she said no to woohooing though. Wait, what? I'm so confused. Oh, she said, I'm too tired. <laughs> She said we spent all this time doing doing like foreplay and now I'm tired. <laughs> all right, guys, let's just call it a night and let's go. <laughs> they truly have gotten old. Yeah. Oh, my God. And now little Graham is sitting here like crying his eyes out. Please, please. At 8 a.m. It's too early for this. Puts him down. Oh, OK, that was what was broken earlier. No, go back to sleep, kid. Oh, no, he's coming in here and he's waking his sister up. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, Come and brighten his day, make him feel a little bit better. Just don't go in, Graham, don't go and wake everyone up. She can't even do anything to help him. Right, just come and sit and talk to him. Tell him, tell him that you're my favorite. I love that. I love it how they've just gotten off to bed and it's like 9 a.m. And the kids are like waking up and coming in and demanding that they have attention. Are you feeling a little bit better? He's got 45 minutes and so they can go back to sleep. Charlotte is pissed off from being woke up, but she's got stuff to do, so she's okay. Look at him! He's just so innocent. I mean, he's coming in and waking up everybody though. That, that's a little bit, that's a little bit annoying. I'm not gonna lie. Emiliano and Neve didn't even wake up. Like not even a peep. I, th I think they're choosing to ignore him. He's standing here staring at them. He's literally standing here staring, demanding that they wake up. <laughs> okay, anyways. um. Why don't you go play with something? There's gotta be something to play with in here. Go play with a toy. There you go. Charlotte is still trying to learn how to ride her bike. And you know what? She only has one more day to learn. So I'm gonna take her outside and have her keep practicing. Because yeah, she only has one more day until, well, literally until she becomes a teenager tomorrow. So bestie, who's the heir? We are not sure out of Graham and Ginny. So we've still got Graham to be the heir. Um, Graham, he's inquisitive and he also loves books. He's a light sleeper and he's a picky eater. So we was we was trying to think if a picky eater, bear in mind Gen 2 is supposed to be a, um, they're supposed to be a chef. So I don't know whether being a picky eater, like as a kid would help him. Um, and then Ginger, she's independent, but she has a good appetite, which means she loves to eat. And she also it makes meal times easier. So maybe that kind of, I don't know. Maybe that kind of implies that she's going to be better for Gen 2. I think maybe. I don't know. We're going to run a poll on YouTube. I'll probably do it this week and then we can decide. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, um, Emiliano's friend come over. Sorry, Aaron. Do you want to come in? Um, I'm going to have him go wake up and invite this guy in. Okay, here we go. You go grab some food. Actually, we should probably just make lunch for everyone. Let me just serve up some lunch. Here we go. Um serve lunch let's do a blt for everyone let's do that um all right the doggy needs to be fed actually so i'm just gonna have him go and um go and fill the food bowl up maybe um aaron and emiliano can go for a jog together 
And actually, we could probably take Queenie with us, who's feeling quite happy at the minute. All right, Neve, you need to clean this up too, and then come use the toilet. How is Charlotte's bike riding going? She gave up, clearly. Okay, did she ever learn how to ride the bike? No? No, I don't think so. Okay, you go use the toilet. This needs to be repaired at some point. Can we please take the dog out for a jog? Guys, should it really be this difficult? How is the game making it this difficult? Go for a jog. Okay, we got it. We got it. They're going for a jog. Let's go. And I think, is he going to come with us? And now he's leaving. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame him. It took us like three hours to get out the door. Like, <laughs> his, his friend was like, okay, I'm leaving now. <laughs> it took way too long. All right, we're just going to just stand here with, with the dog, I guess. Yeah. Emiliano, it doesn't count to just go and jog around here. Okay, you've actually got to leave the house. He's trying so hard right now. Like he is, I think Neve came out and was like, is he still out here? And then he started running. And Neve was like, are you actually gonna take the dog out for a jog? Are you just gonna stand there in the corner? <laughs> okay, I think Neve is trying to tell me that she wants to do some baking. So, you know, I'm a listener. I will let her do some baking. We actually might take the baked goods and sell them on a stand today. We've got a little bit of time. So I'll have her cook up a pie or a tart or something. Um, let's do a fruit cobbler. Right, you've got the fruit cobbler. All right, I'm, I'm bringing this out into the bakery so I can concentrate a second. I should put the walls up and pretend that nothing's going on in there. Okay, fruit cobbler. Let's go ahead and um, pick up all servings of it. And then we should be able to take it out on the stand and go get it sold. Right, we are gonna go. Um, you know what, let's travel to a different lot. Right, let's go get the um, get the table out. There we go, beautiful. And then we'll get all the servings of the fruit cobbler and let's go and tend the table. And then I'm gonna start yard sale and I'm gonna make sure the prices are up. Okay, we just have to wait and see. We're really bringing it back old school today. We're bringing it back. We never, we always used to sell like this, didn't we? Like out in front of buildings and things. I'm honestly surprised they never like kicked Neve out at any point. Guys, I've got some really yummy, excellent quality fruit cobbler here. Like anyone? Anyone? No one's coming. It is such a throwback. I'm enjoying it. <laughs> I remember why we opened up the bakery now because we, oh wait, hold on. Come on. Okay, this, don't walk past me like you don't know me. If you guys remember, Naria is also part of our um, club. She's part of the Mama's Club. She really tried to sneak past without buying some fruit cobbler. I think not, babes. You're very pregnant. Um, you know, even for two and all, um, maybe you could buy two plates of... No? No? Oh, well, come on, Mr. Chang. Come buy some... Come buy some fruit cobbler. Friends are supposed to support friends. Honestly, I'm quite insulted that my friend didn't even buy my food. How has no one bought anything? Not a soul has bought us. Like, guys, I'm not even kidding. No one's bought any of the fruit cobbler. Oh, I see. That's what you're doing. That's what you're doing, Naria. Honestly. Guys, we're kicking her out of the mama's club. She can't be. <laughs> she can't be in the mama's club. Okay, this is just not going to work. Let's just, let's just call it a day. It's embarrassing. Right. Okay, so let's go to our bakery, which is still called R Via Ramonza Caf. However, it's, it's not a caf. It's a bakery. Right, here is the bakery so far. Here's what we've done. So technically speaking, we could set up outside and sell. Why don't you take out a loan? I should have done that. I should have taken out a loan. Okay, you know what? We might take out a loan. <laughs> In the next episode, I think we're going to take out a loan. Here's what we've got so far. This is what the inside looks like. We've just gone ahead and made the sort of central bit. So we've got this for now. However, as you can see, it's not done at all. But we obviously need... Cute little things in here. We need we need loads of different things in here. It's gonna be cute, I swear. It's just, it's not quite there yet, okay? <laughs> and we have like no money, so <laughs> we're gonna get there. <laughs> Neve needs to sleep. It is 12 o'clock. The kids have also got school tomorrow um, because it is their birthday, but obviously they've got to go to school on their birthday. So I'm gonna go send them off to sleep. Reese is gonna need to go use the toilet and then he's gonna need to go sleep. Um, I'm gonna send these guys off to sleep as well. We've literally been out like the whole entire night as well. 
Will the kids still share a room when they're teens? Oh, speaking of actually, um, what we are going to do when Ginny ages up to be a child, I want to put the girls in together. So we're, we're going to renovate their room and the girls will go into one of the room and the boys will go in together because obviously they're going to be getting a little bit older. They're not going to be wanting to get changed in front of their brothers. So I just think it's better to put the girls together and the boys together. All right, everyone's asleep. Reese is about to go asleep. There we go. Okay, kids are in bed. Lovely. We need to fix the sinks. Should I just pay? No, no, you know what? Emiliano can do it when he wakes up. Okay, so what we need to go ahead and do is to set up a birthday party for the kids because officially it is their birthday um, today. So I wanna do a birthday party after school. I don't think I'm actually gonna set it up as a birthday party. I think I'm gonna do it as a children's party. Um, because I want to make sure that, like, I can invite a bunch of kids there. So I think doing it as a kids party is better. So the party guests, Charlotte and, um, Reese are going to be going to their own party, of course. We are definitely going to need, uh, Beatrice to come along. And Grace, these are the kids, um, cousins. So it's important that they're there. And then who else am I missing? Nora looks kind of cute. I'll invite her. I love how I'm just like picking Sims who I think are looking cute. Keenan, Nash. He looks kind of cute. He can go. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, Philip. Oh, not Philippa, Philip Perkins. Okay, I'll invite him too. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna leave it at that for now. I am gonna invite some more Sims, but just for now we'll, we'll set it up with seven. Chaperones, um, I'm just gonna have Neve and Emiliano be the chaperones. And then I want to throw it at, let me set it for the house right now. I'm going to throw it for, okay, so the kids get off of school at three. Oh, so they get off school at three. Okay, I think five is good then. And then I just need to quickly go and set the bowling alley to not be, a bar. I think it's currently set as a bar. So we'll change it from a bar. Okay, so I think, it was in Oasis Springs. Yeah, here it is, Big Shot Bowling. So the reason why we can't use it right now is because it's set to a bar. So if I go in there and I set it to a generic lot, or another lot, it should work. Um, Right, yeah, it's currently set as a bar. I think I'll set it as, let's just do it as a generic lot. And then I also wanna add the lot trait, uh, Bowling Alley. Oh, I've got two Bowling Alley lot traits. That should work, right? The uh, Wait, the only thing is, if it's a generic lot, do other Sims turn up? Because I don't want to do it and then like no other townies show up. It would be a bit weird. Okay, that should be good. Now we should be able to use this lot to throw the kids' birthdays. Right, oh my God, why does it do that? Why does it like wake all the Sims up and doesn't even put them back to bed? That is just, just so annoying. Okay, everyone sleep. All the kids go back to bed. All right, who's awake? Of course, it's little Graham again. He's he's such a light sleeper, isn't he? He has a tendency to wake up randomly. That's really annoying. That really is. And now he's sad because he doesn't know where everyone is. And now he's going to go wake up his sister. Honestly, he is latched on so much to his sister. Okay, go and give him a family kiss and make him feel a little bit better. And he needs his nappy change. Can you do that? I don't think she can. Okay, why are you guys doing this in your parents' bedroom? That must be so annoying for them. Right, you know what, Emiliano, it's your turn to take care of Graham. Okay, no, just go and change his nappy for now. Charlotte, you've got school today and it's your birthday, so go back to bed. Reese, he's awake, he's ready for school. Have they done their homework? Both of them have done their homework, beautiful. Did Graham get his nappy changed? I really don't think he did. Can someone feed the kid? <laughs> Guys, this family. Okay, go and give him some food. Okay, Ginger, she needs to be taken care of. Let's go and give her a bubble bath. Why are the kids not going off to school? Oh, they don't start for another uh, for another few hours. <gasps> Wait, I haven't done something. Right, so I've installed a mod. I need to get set up for it to make sure it works. It's called the go to school mod, which means I can now go to school with my children. So I can go to elementary school with them. So I spent ages like making this custom school, like renovating it and everything. 
And it actually goes on this lot here. So I'm just gonna like kick this family out and put it here. Um, but I need to make sure it all works because I haven't like play tested it. So we're just gonna do it together, okay? We're just gonna see how it works. <laughs> here is what it looks like. This is gonna be the kids' school, which also means that when Ginny and Graham are old enough, we can go to school with them as well. So here's what it's looking like. I need to rename it. I'm gonna call it like Tartosa Elementary School. I went ahead and I completely re-renovated the, the lot so that we've got all the required items in the school to use. There's like a science room where the kids can do science stuff. There's like a little book reading room. Um, this is the actual sort of um, bit where they can sit down and learn. But I need to get a whiteboard placed in. I'm going to use the one that comes in game because the one that I tried to use before didn't work. So I'm going to try and send the kids to school and then we can play with them today. And let's see if it works and then we can go to school with them. Okay, you come and grab some cereal. Oh, really quick before they go off to school. I need to set the kids' birthday, the children's birthday, and make sure that we go to the bowling alley. Yes. And then can I invite... Charlotte has a few friends that I think I'm missing. Oh, Otis. Otis is one of our parents. And Lena and Grady. Okay, I'm going to invite those kids because she's, she's friends with those kids from school already. And then that should be good. So we've got, we've got 10 kids coming to the party tonight, guys. Oh, my God. It's going to be a nightmare. I'm not even going to lie. Everything in this house is broken. Right, guys, that's it. I'm paying. I'm just going to pay it. Literally, every single sink in the house is broken. It's time for your sim to disappear into the magical world of elementary school. Would you care to follow them or are they destined to go alone? Right, I am going to follow both of the kids to school. Right, please let this mod work. If it doesn't, I will check in the next episode how to make it work, but... Hopefully it does. Here we go. Okay, we're off to school. Today the class is getting a guest speaker. You need to learn how about, you need to, you get to learn how about a subject. Am I reading this wrong? Am I stupid? Hold on. You need to learn how about a subject from someone who works in that field. Okay, hold on. So what are the goals for today? So their morning free time ends in an hour and 42. Reese has the goal to socialize with anyone. So there's this little kid here, Keenan. I'll have him say hello to this kiddo. And then Charlotte is coming outside. She's got Carrie over here. Let's say hello to her. All right, there's the there's one. Oh, that's Philip. Wait, do we do we know if this guy's this kid's related to Lucia? Oh my god, it's Lucia's kid. How did we not know that? Oh my God, you need to be friends with Philip. Okay, we need to give him a makeover. <laughs> he deserves a makeover. Philip and Charlotte could date? <gasps> Imagine. Wait, can they select lockers? Oh no, they can't. Okay, they're not old enough to get lockers yet. Never mind, that's okay. They have so much free time. Good for them. <laughs> come up, come here and play together. Um, Charlotte is making friends with Carrie by singing to her. I don't think it's going well. Oh no, she liked the singing. Well, it was kind of bad, but that's okay. I respect it. <laughs> this school is so cute. I, I spent so long on the gallery, like customizing it and everything to make it sort of suit. And look out the back of it. Like this bit is so cute. And there's even um, a little place where they keep chickens as well, which is super cute. And there's even a telescope for when they do like science stuff. So I'm excited. Oh my God, wait, they've got to go to class now. All right, so if we go upstairs, I should be able to click on the whiteboard and they've got to listen to the guest speaker. So I'm going to send them on up. I think all the kids are going. Oh, this is working so well. Oh, here we go. They're in school. This is our guest speaker. Celeste Callahan, her name is. I don't know what she's teaching. It looks like maths. Yeah, it is maths. Okay, where is, where is Charlotte? Is she? She's going to get in trouble. She's going to get in trouble. She's literally so late to her class, but it's fine. Come sit down next to Keenan. Keenan looks like a cute kid. <gasps> Keenan is oh my god. Keenan is such a cute Charlotte. You gotta get in there, kiddo. Little little childhood crush right there, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> this is so cute. Okay, I'm sorry. I love this mod. This uh, how did I not use this mod before? All right, they've got lunch for the next hour and a half. Charlotte is gonna go introduce herself to uh to Keenan. Does she like him? What do we think? He didn't really enjoy the class. He says he's casual. Good compatibility. 
They might not become best friends instantly, but it certainly won't be a challenge for them. Let's joke about that teacher, talk about her class being so boring. And then we're going to tell a make-believe story. She's just making this, sh making this stuff up. And then argue about arguing. No, no, we want to be friends with this kid. Let's talk about some of our hobbies. Reese is a little bit more introverted. So, I don't, yeah, he doesn't know most of the kids. But I am going to have them go downstairs. They're going to go grab lunch. So, wait, can the kids not... Wait, can the kids not use this to grab lunch? Mm. There's got to be a mod so that so that kids can use the high school cafeteria. Is there any vending machines around here? No. Okay, you know what? Let me buy some so they can use it. I don't think there's any other cafeteria stations that I can add in. The only other one that they might be able to use is the... You know the cafeteria station that come with university? That one might be usable to them. Um, but for now, I'm going to get them... The fruits and veggies one here. I'll also buy them a drinks one and a snacks one. And that should be good for them to use for now. Okay, buy a snack. Um, Why don't you have some sour cream and onion chips? Because they kind of sound good. And then Reese, um, he needs to shower. But in the meantime, I'm just going to buy him some fruit. I'll buy him a banana. Okay, kiddos, come grab some food. Oh my god, lunch has literally ended. Um, right, so she needs to play on the monkey bars, play chess, and study handiness online. Go and eat your crisp first, and then let's go play chess. All right, so you're going to go play chess. Reese is in pain. Oh no, he twisted his ankle while he was playing. Well, he needs to go play chess too. Come and, um, come and join the game against your sister. It's so hard to complete the goals while they're in school. This is so difficult. He's not going to be able to do anything else. He needs to socialize with anyone. Study robotics. Observe the sky. Play on the monkey bars. Can we like quickly play on the monkey bars? Oh wait, actually, when they get home, they've got their birthday party. We've literally only got a little bit of time. Um, okay, right, kiddos. Home from school. So it says that... Charlotte seemed a little inattentive in her class today and she should make uh, her class skills up, make sure her class skills are up before next week. Um, baby, we're going off to high school, so like. <laughs> right, today is the kids' birthday, so I'm gonna get them in and get them ready. Um, I'm gonna have Reese go and have a shower before we go. Charlotte, um, she can use the shower upstairs. And then. We are going to the bowling alley for their birthday. I'm so excited. We just met some new kids at school today. And I think it'd be a really good idea to invite them. So we met Carrie at school. Oh, Keenan was already being invited. Oh, perfect. All right, let me get rid of Grady. Sorry, Grady, you gotta go. And I think that was it. Emiliana, can you clean this up? Can you fix this before we leave? Oh my God, the cake. I forgot cake. No. No, I'm not gonna have enough time to make it. Wait, hold on. We've got to have some stuff left over. I've got to have some stuff that I can bring to their birthdays. I feel so bad. Okay, I do have fruit cobbler. Okay, I can bring that to the kids' birthdays. I'm feeding fruit cobbler to my kids. Uh, yes, I do. I do. I had that cake mod. I installed it because all the times I forget. Okay, hold on. Cake. Okay, right. Let me buy it. Buy this. There we go. All right, put that down. And then... Oh, I was, I was panicking, guys. I was panicking. Piece of cake bakery. And then kid's birthday cake. Ooh, I don't know which one to get them. Maybe a hamburger? Maybe just chocolate? Uh, I'd like a chocolate cake if it was me. <laughs> and then drag it into our inventory. Uh, and then we'll just put this in our inventory. Okay, we did it. Saved by the mod yet again. I just love mods in this game. Seriously. <sighs> did, did he really just break this? I'm actually gonna lose my mind. I'm not paying to fix it. I'm not, I'm not gonna do it. Every single thing in this house is broken. It's like I have such bad luck today. Okay, I'm going to the kids' birthday party and I'm just forgetting. All right, so we just arrived. Okay, cake. And then we're going to add the birthday candles to it so that no one eats it. Okay, anyways, kids, let's go do some bowling. We'll do five frame game. Obviously we're gonna include Reese um, and then we're going to have Keenan course lena grace oh we can't do it with that many people okay i'll just do those guys here we go okay the kids are gonna go and play some bowling who's up first oh she's got the bumpers up she's bad i see it 
And she really did that badly. I mean, she's a kid and we can't make fun of her, it's okay. She's like 12 and I'm like, boo. <laughs> I'm so excited to see Charlotte. I know you guys are gonna love her. I think in the next episode, we'll have to actually do the makeovers though at the start of next episode because I don't think we'll have enough time in tonight's stream, but we will get to see them without CC. All right, I'm gonna have Emiliano. He's gonna get the other kids bowling. I'm gonna have him go and bowl with Grace. Yeah, Grace, Beatrice and Carrie. Oh, is he enjoying the music? Of course he is. How is he enjoying bowling? It's time to focus and get ready to win this bowling match. He's so tryharding. Like, Reese, come on. Are you even gonna pick? Oh my God, he can pick his own bolt. Clear skull ball. Sky blue. Wait, what can you do? You take the sky blue one. What are you doing? Kiddo, I thought you were, pl I thought you were bowling. Oh my God. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get her bowling over here. Right, invite to bowl, five frame. We'll get Neve involved. We'll do Lena and Beatrice over here. <laughs> I think Emiliano is just enjoying the fact that he's bowling. Like <laughs> he's just enjoying being at this kid's birthday party, honestly. <laughs> okay, Charlotte's gonna get the other kids bowling over here. Here we go. Charlotte, let's see what you got. What do you mean? Why are you acting all embarrassed? That was amazing. Honestly, what a natural Charlotte is. All right, let's see what Neve's got. Nia's been bowling once. Oh, what do you mean? That was so good. You guys are so good at this. Stop, stop. Okay, we've got Lena going up next. What's Lena? Wait, wasn't Lena the kid that, that hit it off the side earlier? You're still not improved if you kid. <gasps> Wait, Emiliano's bowling. Let's see what Emiliano's got. So Emiliano and Neve did go bowling at one point. So it's interesting to see them. No one saw, no one saw, no one saw, no one saw, no one saw. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Just go back. Oh my God, look at him. <laughs> I love this man, but he's like just <laughs> such a failure. <laughs> he's just such a failure. Okay, you know what? Let's just blow out the candles um, because it's just, it's getting wild, you know? Right, Charlotte, you are up first since you are technically the oldest. Go ahead and make a wish, girly. Let's go. All right, here we go. Happy birthday, Charlotte. Here we go, she's trying to think of a wish. Happy birthday. Why is she pissed off? Why are you pissed off though? I swear to God, if anyone takes a piece of this cake. Oh my God, thank God I brought this. Thank God I brought this. I'm just gonna buy another one and pretend it didn't happen. I'm just gonna buy another one. Okay, for some reason she's not aging up. Are you kidding me? Has she got to do it again? Oh my God, I, I hate this game sometimes. Absolutely hate this game. Where's the cake? Let's try again. Add birthday candles. Quick, before anyone touches it. Quick. Okay, try again, kids. Try again, taste frosting. There we go. Okay, happy birthday again, Charlotte. Such a pick me girl. She wants two birthday parties. What the hell? Sue that man for the price of that cake. It's kind of expensive too. Why is she not aging up? Why are you taking the cake? Guys, what do I do? Should I just should I just age her up in MCC? Okay, anyways, happy birthday. We love that for her. You're now a teenager. Okay, perfect. Now it's actually happening. I don't know why it wasn't working. Happy birthday! Charlotte started off as high spirited, which means that she's very energetic, playful, happy. She has a happy life and she's happy doing things. So, so what I always do is I randomize my Sims traits three times and then I pick my favorite out of the three to give myself like a little bit of randomize, but also a little bit of leeway. So first trait is socially awkward, which I do not see for her at all. She's not socially awkward at all. She's very outgoing. So next one is goofball. Goofball's okay, but I don't know. Or jealous. That is so accurate. <laughs> she was so jealous when her little sister got born because she knew the attention was not gonna be on her. And I feel like the game just knew. <laughs> and then for her aspiration, we can do trendsetter popular influential. Wants to be the drama all the time. And then the sim wants to be the best. Grades check, sports check, money check. The road to success is paved. Do we do admired icon, drama llama, or goal oriented? I definitely don't think she suits live fast. So I think it's gonna be one of the bottom three. Drama llama. Okay, drama llama it is. Drama llama, our girl. Oh God, okay, the CC is just running wild. The CC's running wild, baby. What is going, look at the lip liner. <laughs> 
Anyways, we kind of we kind of get an idea of what she looks like right here. <laughs> Look at her waist. <laughs> oh my god. Someone could snap her like a twig. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I'm going to buy a cake again. Buy a chocolate cake. Grab it out of the inventory, put it back in the inventory again. Um and then we are going to go down here. Here we go. Right. Reese, it is your turn, baby boy. Let's go. This kid has two plates. <laughs> He's already got a plate of chocolate cake. Okay, is the game gonna let him age up or am I gonna have to force it for him too? Come on, game. Happy birthday, Reese. Happy birthday, let's go. Sorry, what are those shoes? Where did you get them from? Here we go, okay. Happy birthday to Reese. So, Reese is our open-minded kiddo. He is inspired and he gains creative uh, skills faster because he's receptive to new ideas. So let's go for three traits. So his options are unflirty, which means that he gets tense around flirty sims and it's difficult for him to be romantic in public. It could be an option. It could be an option. Um, we've got home wrecker. Love to break up other Sims relationships. As a teenager? Okay, maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> or paranoid. He feels the danger that is around him at every corner. And he's he always feels like Sims are talking about him. I think we might have to go for unflirty. All of them are all of them are quite awful. However, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> unflirty. There it is. Okay. He is unflirty. And he's open-minded. He is going to be, like, focused on on school. He really is. <laughs> okay. And then for him, I think I might do something creative for him. He's always enjoyed painting. So I might have him go into arts and painting. And then we'll sort of decide from there where we have him go. He got given the... Oh, my God. That facial structure, though. What the hell? CC is actually going wild, guys. <laughs> CC is going wild. <laughs> Okay, right. The, the, I think the party has officially ended. I'm just going to go save the game just so we don't lose any of the progress that we've made. And then I'm going to go in and strip off all of their CC. Did anyone just see that? I just saved the game and the kids just like their bodies completely changed. They got thick, right? <laughs> they got thick. What the? Okay, I'm going to get rid of all their CC so we can start from scratch. And then we can kind of get an idea. There is no way, baby. There is no way. You're supposed to be 14, by the way. You're supposed to be 14. <laughs> oh my God, Reese. <laughs> what is happening here? What is happening? Okay, I'm going to go reset their, their uh, bodies to what they were before. Because I definitely think that they were... Uh, Definitely think they glitched out a little bit. <laughs> so we're gonna go do that. I am most definitely gonna change up their body shapes because this does not make sense for 14 year olds. Okay, I'm sorry. Like baby, there is no way your hips are this big. It's just not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, she looks a little bit more her age now, I think. And then we'll we'll give her more hip. As she gets older, we'll make her hips bigger. And Reese, I'm gonna make his shoulders smaller, his chest smaller since he's younger as well smaller uh, legs just generally smaller all over definitely smaller arms right the kids are gonna need major makeovers in the next episode guys like what are these eyebrows game what are these <laughs> okay we're gonna need to get the makeovers but i don't have time to do it tonight guys it's literally like already 11 p.m where i am um so i'm gonna have to do it in the next episode i am streaming joy of life again this week so it's fine However, he needs our help, guys. He really does. Reese is absolutely terrifying. Emilio's jeans did not <laughs> fall through. Yeah, they're gonna need some makeovers like real soon. Okay, I'm gonna have all the kids go back home. Let's send all the kids back home. Um, let's have Neve go back. They're all super tired, actually, so we're gonna go home. But don't worry, next episode we will we will fix them. We will do all of our CC magic. We will come out with a scalpel if needed. <laughs> Right, guys, I am going to go ahead and end tonight's episode off here. So thank you very, very much for joining me. 
I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Joy of Life. If you did, remember to go ahead and leave it a like. Subscribe down below if you are new and let me know what you thought of today's episode. And I will speak to you in the next one. Bye guys.